first of all, uh, we'd like to congratulate the way you had performed today. Oh, well, thank you. Very great. And uh, we had a few questions about the Vyotrakarya, yeah. the whole festival, and about your career. Okay, okay sure. Uh, first one. Uh, do you know any more charming place than Margoni? Not so far. Yeah. No, it's, it's just beautiful. This, this setting is breathtaking, gorgeous. Different than in your Oh, it's wonderful. It's a, a really pleasing environment to play. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my personal question. What has happened to your hair, your fancy hairstyle? Uh, that went away with the 1980s, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just taking on a new look now. It's called steampunk. Victorian era sci-fi with the goggles uh, and, and the goggles. The, all the wacky stuff. Mm -hmm. Sprockets and, the guitar, and gears. Right? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the most recent recent uh, songs by Michael Jackson? I mean Hollywood Tonight, Hold My Hand and This Is It. I've only heard This Is It because I saw the movie. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard the other ones. I downloaded the record and I I haven't even listened to it. It's just kinda it's different after he's passed away, you know, he didn't approve of that music, so... Yeah, but he did record it. Uh, well, he's recorded yeah, hundreds yeah, of songs so, yeah. that he didn't want the public to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's a personal question, but do you keep in touch with Michael's children? No, I never met his children. No, he, he had those after the history tour. Mm -hmm. So I, I hadn't talked to him since the history tour. I see. Uh, do you know Do you know the meaning of Vyatrakarya, uh, the name of the festival? No. Uh, it's from the wind farms, because all around the Margoni there are many windmills. Yeah. Uh, you know, green energy. And, yeah, smart. That's very advanced. Yeah, it's uh, the name from, from the wind farm. Okay. Uh, do you find uh, preparing such a festival profitable for culture? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I mean, Anything that can bring the community together with the arts of, of any kind, whether it's sculpture, painting, uh, theater, dance, music, I think it is beneficial to the mental health of the community. Mm -hmm. uh, could you tell us uh, something about how did you start playing the guitar and uh, how come you played with Michael Jackson? Um, I started playing guitar when I was eight years old, and my sister had a guitar and I didn't, so I was mad. It was first acoustic? Uh, no, nope. classic guitar. It was electric. electric. I was lucky. From the very beginning. My father had some foresight. Mm -hmm. Back in those days, it was very rare to get an electric guitar, but it was very cool. And uh, the Michael Jackson thing, I was just lucky enough to hear about the auditions. Mm -hmm. And they auditioned about 100 people, and I was the lucky winner. Yeah, next thing I knew I had a ticket to Tokyo and a passport and uh, I got to go around the world for a year and a half on the bad tour and then I went out again on Dangerous and uh, History. You had some time to prepare for, for the World Tour, right? Uh, for what? Uh, for the Satellist, I mean, or for the songs. You yeah. had some time to... Oh yeah, we rehearsed a lot for those tours, especially for the bad tour. It was two solid months of rehearsals. Yeah, it was intense. It was like joining Michael Jackson's army. Yeah, many, many dances, right? Yeah. The whole crew. Yeah. Uh, maybe you could give a piece of advice to our youngest talents uh, out here. Uh, how can they uh, make their music dreams come true? Um, well, it depends what your dreams are. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a good musician, it's up to you to put in mm -hmm. time and... Um, and listen to a lot of different kinds of music because there's there's a lot to be gained from listening to African music, Polish folk music, mm -hmm. jazz, blues, everything, and um, just to absorb it and enjoy it. That's number one. As far as making a living at it, that's a whole different thing. You you need to have not only the music together, but you have to have somewhat of a business side together where you show up on time and you're uh, a good team player if you're going to play in band. Yeah, but you are playing without the band. Yes, I'm, I'm tired of bands. <laughs> uh, do you know ACDC, Iron Maiden, Metallica? Sure. Uh, do you like the guitarists? I mean, for example, uh, Kirk Hammett or Angus Young? Right. Um, uh, Angus Young especially, he's, I was just thinking about this the other day, I was listening to some ACDC on the radio and 
His solos are, are so perfect for their music. You know, it's just very iconic rock and roll. I, I do like it. The dark stuff and the striptease, uh, every way, every one. Uh, Every time they have a concert, no, he strips uh, his clothes. Uh, I only saw him once in concert, and uh, well, he he always takes his shirt off, but he had his shorts on. Mm -hmm. But in that age, he is, uh, I don't know, seventy years old, right? Seventy. I, I think so. More than sixty, I, I'm sure. And he plays like that. It's. Unbelievable, I think. He's in great shape. Mm -hmm. It's like he does 10,000 sit-ups every show, the way he moves. It's it's so difficult to play and to do that move. <laughs> uh, I would like to wish you the same, to play another 100 years. Oh, thank you. If you only want to. Thank you for the interview. Sure, cheers.